Okay, y'all, so the wig straight out the box was beautiful, to be honest. You guys, I over-bleached my knots, unfortunately. So, I'm going in, and I'm being Miss Love scissor hands right now. Okay, period. We love it here. Hold it. Got the dumb pig, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want to deal on my shit so hot. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your sir, Brianna. If you don't know, now you know and now we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. In today's video, I showed y'all the ins and outs from beginning to end how I customized and installed this hair from Original Queen. So if you want to see how I slay this Bobbiana, then stay tuned. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> So the wig straight out the box was beautiful to be honest it didn't have a smell it had a lot of body so we love that i did notice that the lace was a little thick but at least it was pre-plugged but we are gonna have to get into bleaching these knots because they're doubled and don't nobody got time for that okay but other than that the wig is beautiful the construction of the wig is amazing it has four combs and elastic band all that good stuff so original queen hair thank y'all so much for sending me over this unit and if you would like to purchase all of the direct links will be in the description box below so as you can see right here i was preparing to pluck my unit However, I couldn't get over these knots, you guys. Let me show y'all a little zoom in. A little hit with a zoom, okay? They're black. They're obvious. I didn't have time for that, okay? So, I'm going in with my Clairol Pure White 30 Volume Developer in the color Charm Wella Bleaching Powder. And I'm going to mix that together until I get a consistency that is similar to toothpaste, but a little bit thinner. And then I'm just going to go crazy, okay? Make sure that you protect your lace and your hair with some got to be sprayed. Let yours dry because, girl, I'm going to show you what I did in a second. that I have to show you guys I over bleach my knots unfortunately but honestly I would rather over bleach my knots than not bleach them enough and I have to keep going back and forth applying more bleach and developer girl don't nobody got time for that so I have a quick easy fix get you a toothbrush and some jet black dye boom I went ahead and took the dye onto one of these old containers and I just took my toothbrush and I really got into the roots you want to cover up all of those brown brassy hairs with the dye and literally this is so easy to do okay the only thing you want to make sure of is that you stay away from the lace do not touch the lace have a very light hand when doing this and allow the dye to dry before you continue messing with your wig because you don't want that dye to bleed onto your hands or anything else so yeah it's cute you know my knots is bleached so pretty Thank you. 
straightener I did realize that we had some raggedy ends not raggedy but they just weren't perfect how I wanted them to and I realized that I kind of wanted to go for an asymmetrical look girl I knew I wanted to wear this hair in the side part so I am going to show you guys how I flat iron the front to make it really really flat using the she is bomb wax stick that I got from my local beauty supply it was like ten dollars but yeah y'all I realized that I wanted to switch it up and do something a little cute, a little grown, a little sophisticated. So I'm going in and I'm being Miss Love Scissor Hands right now. And I'm just getting rid of a good amount of hair on the side that I have my part on. So if you are going to follow this tutorial at home, do know that you're only going to be able to wear this style in a side part. If you wanted to wear it in the middle part, obviously one side of your head is going to be a little bit shorter than the other. But to be honest, I think I did a really good job. From my past, I realized that you have to cut the hair on a mannequin, but you also need to put it on your head to see exactly where you want the hair to lay. So it's really hard. I ain't even going to cap. Like, um, I can't do a full bob by myself yet. But yeah, we're just going to keep trying and take it baby steps, baby steps at a time, you know. So now I'm going over here with the wax stick and my hot comb and I'm getting the hair together, okay? So I used to use the Ruby Mousse and I'm not going to cap. The Ruby is good for like curly hair in my opinion. When it comes to straight hair, 
I just don't think it lays the hair down good enough. I still have a lot of flyaways. Um, the hair doesn't listen to me still, but this wax stick gets the job done. I've also realized that wax sticks work better on like bundles and wigs versus my natural hair. Um, it just kind of makes my natural hair greasy. But do y'all see how I just laid and slayed this wig? I didn't even pluck my part, you guys. It's like, what? That's crazy. So moving over to me, girl. This one I'm looking like. And this is what my real hair looks like under all my wigs. I just lay my curls flat in the back. And I put on a wig cap and I keep it pushing, okay? I don't be having time to comb roll my hair. And to be honest, when I take my wig off, my hair is already pretty much in a new style. It's in a slick back. So I'm making sure that I'm protecting my edges by pushing them back. And make sure that you put your wig on so you know exactly how the hair is going to lay. So I'm making sure that the cut looks nice. It was a little gap in the front of this wig, to be honest. I don't know what that was about. But I put the wig on and, baby, I fell in love. Y'all see that cut? Do you see the Bobby Yana? Stop playing with the girl. Okay. So now that I see that the wig is going to look good on me, it's time to cut that wig cap. I am doing the ball cap method, which just means that you're going to cut your wig cap and lay it down to your head by using some Gatsby glue spray. And you're just going to blow dry that with your blow dryer, making sure that everything is stuck to your head and is protecting your hair. Afterwards, you're going to see me use some lace scent to put some color into the wig and to my cap. Um, girl, then we're going to be all good to go to lay that thing down, okay? <music> and I'm going to use that to mark my hair. Here is where I have the most difficulty when it comes to laying my wigs. It comes down to where in the hell do I cut off my cap, you know? So using these little markers is really going to help me do that. So I line my entire hairline with the lip liner and then I take the wig off and I can see exactly where I need to cut and that really, really helps me. Also, you want to make sure that you are still protecting your hair when you are cutting off your cap. First off, don't accidentally cut your hair, but try not to. And then you also need to make sure that you're still leaving enough cap to cover your natural hair. Because once that lace glue gets into your natural hair, baby, there's no going back, okay? You can fix that problem by using a lot of alcohol and really massaging it into your hair, but it's a sticky situation, okay? So try your best not to do that and you should be good to go.
Hoping you will, hoping you would wish up his word to me. Hoping you would to me. Underneath the consolation, if it's any consolation, if it's worth the conversation, I don't do this all of the time. What you say then? I will retire. It's worth the lie. It's worth the crime. It's worth the bad karma. Just how we can get into love I'm good, what's the difference? Still good, it's not the difference I'm good, what's the difference? If it's still good, just not so exclusively It's to be all good, all bad Tell it now, that's more than It's so hard to love Darling, you make it too hard I know how we all feel about bumping the ends, girl. We have a long past of trauma when it comes to our mamas and aunties bumping the ends, girl. But I just feel as though this bob needed a little bit more movement, period. So I went ahead and bumped my ends with the same flat iron that I used earlier. And now I'm going in with my razor blade to cut off the lace. I couldn't find my really handy scissors so i went ahead and used this and it worked really well for me to be honest however i did notice that some areas needed a little bit more glue unfortunately so i had to go back in and touch that up to make sure everything was going to lay down properly um to make sure that that was dry i just let it do what it did and then i went over it with the blow dryer but i don't know if it's just me or the lace is looking a little light around my forehead, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, did I get a tan? Is my lace tint a little bit too light for me now? Because, you know, we are going into the summertime. I'm not sure what's going on. So I went ahead and I went into my contour palette from Black Radiance. And I had to go over the lace with a little bit of makeup. And usually this is my holy grail. Spraying it with some got to be and laying it down with an elastic band usually does the job, honey. But I don't know. Something just wasn't, something wasn't right. I don't know. I was going to do a no baby hairs look with this wig, but I just couldn't get over the fact that I could see my lace or it wasn't blending in with my skin enough. So Right now, I am going to give myself some light baby hairs. Nothing too crazy. I'm just going to pluck those hairs out. And then I'm going to also use the same blade to cut the hair so it doesn't look so choppy. And I'm just going to give myself some cute little baby hairs all around the perimeter of my head. So, yeah, once I did that, I felt like myself. You know, I felt like it looks really, really good. So, overall... I 10 out of 10 recommend this hair and this brand. This is not my first time working with Original Queen. So I feel really blessed and honored to be able to work with them again. I love their hair. I love their customer service and everything about their company. Um, I will say that the only thing I would change about this wig is I would go up on the density. Okay. I love my short hair to be nice and full and voluptuous. So... Don't get me wrong, I hate thick bobs, but I also don't like thin bobs. Like, the hair is already short, don't make me feel bald-headed, you know? Like, don't make me feel like the hair is thin. And I'm not saying that the hair was thin, but just to give it a little bit more body. 
I would like the density to be a little bit higher. So, yeah. If y'all get this wig, make sure you go up on the density and tag me in your pictures on social media so I can see y'all today. Okay, period. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish up doing my baby hairs. All that I'm using is a little bit of got to be spray. And then I also use a little bit, a inksy winksy bit of the, um, of the edge booster, edge control. And that worked really well for me. Okay. So yep, that's all I did. And now here is the final result with my hair done and my makeup slayed. Okay. And don't worry if you want to see this makeup tutorial, that will be or should be my next video that I drop. So stay tuned. Okay, period. We love it here. Hold it. Got the dumb pig, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.